Hello, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. First time you're looking in, well, you know the drill. It's thumbs up, thumbs down, like, share and interact with my subscribers and returning subscribers. Thank you for supporting me and continue, continuing to check out what I'm talking about. Well, today I did say yesterday that I was not going to talk about the coronavirus. But how can I not when I've just heard that black people cannot catch it? Well, one black person out of 1,070 who died did not catch the virus. So Chinese doctors have presumed that the composition of the melanin in black skin is resistant to the virus. Well, why do you know? I'm not going to glow. I'm not going to shout this from the housetops because we do not want another Kiskagi experiment. We do not want the fact that one, he's from the Cameroons. He lives in China and where um, I think it's 1,014 uh, Wuhan residents died. This one Cameroonian student survived the virus. So they have deduced that there is something in the melanin that, that helped him to survive. Now, we do not want all of these scientists jumping on black people to test whether or not they're resistant to the virus, like they did with the Tuskegee experiment. Because what they did with the Tuskegee experiment is that they injected them with syphilis to see how they would react. Now, we do not want anybody injecting black people with the coronavirus to see if they can survive it. So, but I did need to share it. It's already out there. I'm going to put the link below. And so, um, what does it say? It says... Chinese doctors confirm African blood genetic composition resists the coronavirus after a student is cured. Coronaviruses range from the common cold to SARS and MERS. Senu, a young Cameroonian student in China recently infected with the coronavirus, was released from hospital care of the virus that killed 1,012 Wuhan students, I said 1016, but 1012 Wuhan students a couple of weeks ago. So, um, all I can say is that guy might have been lucky. He might have been lucky. So, we do not know. I don't know how many black people have died from it. That's another thing. That'd be interesting to know. But we don't, like I said, we don't want them using a, a, a scapegoat, so don't go showing off and gloating about it. Um, but the doctor, Chinese doctors claim he stayed alive because of his blood genetic composition, which is mainly found in the genetic composition of sub-Saharan Africans. So it's not all blacks, it's those in sub-Sahara Africa who have this built-in resistance against the coronavirus. That's probably why Africa is the only country who hasn't got it. That makes sense, doesn't it? I mean, I know they said they found one case in Egypt, but that might have just been the common cold. We do not know what that case was. But that might be the reason. Well, what do you know? Anyway, I don't want this um, video to go on too long. Um, Chinese doctors have also said that his black skin has antibodies that are three times stronger, powerful and resistant compared to white skin. So, um, we don't know, if, well, I'm assuming it's true since it's in the newspapers and the media. I'm going to put it in the link below. But... Um, it's only one man at the moment. Well, we could say it's only one man, but if you think about Africa and it hasn't infected anybody in Africa yet, you might have a point. So we do not want anybody trying to prove that it does, it will affect Africans in sub-Saharan Africa by spraying something in their air to test it. Because, you know, these scientists, they love to prove things. They love evidence, evidence, evidence. So we don't want them kind of inflicting evidence 
but I just had to tell you this. So I'm not going to keep this video long, short, sweet, just like you. Bye-bye.